I'm in a region of Poland that's home to one of the world's least known ethnic groups. Although the region is a popular destination for local Poles, everything is virtually unknown outside of Poland. And these days, its inhabitants are struggling to preserve their age-old traditions. <laughs> The region of Kasubia lies in central Pomerania. Its border stretched from the Baltic Sea to Pomerania's southern border. Although it is officially part of the nation of Poland, over the centuries it has developed its own unique language and culture, making it unlike any other region in the country. I'll begin my journey in the cultural heart of the region, the rural village of Dzidzikiszewski, where I'll attend a Kasubian cultural festival. From there, I'll travel north to the small coastal town of Kut before heading to the popular holiday town of Hell. I'll end my journey in the region's largest city and unofficial capital, Kedan. I'm in the region of Kashuvia, and Kashuvia is a cultural region in Poland. It's not a semi-autonomous region or an autonomous region, but sort of a cultural region located in Pomerania. And the Kashuvians are a subgroup of Poles. They have their own culture and their own language, but Kashubia is officially part of Poland, so Kashubians are all Polish citizens, but no one is sure exactly how many Kashubians there are. Some estimate the population to be as low as 50,000 and others as high as 500,000, and the Kashubians are believed to be descended from medieval Slavic Pomeranian tribes, and they were actually settled in the region of Pomerania before the Poles and their language, some people say it's a language, some people say it's a dialect. I consider it more of a language because it is a little different from Polish and it's actually part of a group of languages called the Lechitic languages. And an example of a famous Kashubian is Donald Tusk. This is the Zizze Skansen, and there are actually two Zizzes, Zizze Kiszewski and Zizze Tuchowski. This is Zizze Kiszewski. And a Skansen is basically an open-air museum that has architecture from all around the region. And this one is a Kashubian Skansen. It has architecture from all around Kashubia, like this beautiful wooden Kashubian windmill you see behind me. And Today is a special day here in Vzidze because there is a Kashubian festival taking place. So we'll get to experience a little bit of Kashubian culture. <laughs> Thank you. 
Rupanga, traditional Kashubian or Rupanga for two fifty. How would these taste? Mm-hmm. Good. Right here we have some traditional Kashubian bread. Mm. To jest serek z macierzanką, zwaną a, polskim tymiankiem, ale nie ma nic wspólnego z tymiankiem. Test. Yeah, and you can see this traditional Kashubian flower decoration. They're really famous for their flower decorations. Oh, oh. Oh. How far? Entry. You know what is this? They put milk here and make separated uh, cream from milk. Ah. Then what you see down there below me, they actually used to store food and there was kind of like a storage area for food underground so it wouldn't get spoiled. Actually, it's so pretty, yeah? Mm -hmm. Behind me is the Skansen's church and why I love about the Skansen and the Kashubian architecture that everything is made out of wood. You don't see very many wooden churches these days, so this is a really interesting site. and so far. The school house. The teacher? Yeah, that's where the teacher lives. He actually lived inside the school house. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. 
tu właśnie mamy na klepisku piękny magiel duży. Maga służy właśnie do opracowania takich większych rzeczy jak posieli, serwetów, obrusów i podkładaliśmy zawsze pod skrzynię. Jeden wałek pod jedną część skrzyni, drugi wałek pod drugą część skrzyni. Skrzynia była wypłynięta kamieniami i pocierane kamieni to właśnie nacisku to powodowało, że pracowało. Wystarczało tylko właśnie tą kolbą kręcić, skrzynia się przesuwać. Mogę do drugą stronę, żeby już było po morach prawo, lewo, a jeśli będę drugą, żeby pokazać to, jak to działa. Teraz kręcę właśnie, to to jest, o, wałk się przesuwa. W tej chwili, w tej chwili wałka by właśnie nie, nie wyjęliśmy, nie? Dzień dobry. A żeby właśnie wałek wyjąć, to w jednej części właśnie części tutaj właśnie w momencie się dźwignie, właśnie podniesie. I wtedy można wałek wyjąć. I następny wtedy, o, w tej chwili można ten wałek wyjąć. Następny właśnie można wtedy podłożyć, nie? I teraz właśnie chodzę dalej. Go! Does it matter? You don't want that? Dobrze, 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 dobrze. Very funny. Można poprosić, zobaczyć, tak? Ja. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know how this works. I show you. This is how the Cushubians do their laundry. Oh, yeah. Kashubian wax art. Stick serveto. We have a very good time. No, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. These are Kashubian's famous uh, tablecloth. They're known for their flower decoration. They są trzy najbardziej lecznicze. Dzięki lub konokład pokarmowy. Dwóch jest na serce i nakład krążenia, a imbir jest wzmacnia, reguluje trawienie, ale przede wszystkim wzmacnia organizm. Na siłę witam. Mamy też tak, nalewkę z aronii. Bardzo dobrze działa na też na układ krążenia. Yeah, it's kind of strong. It's not very strong, but a little. No? Yeah? Too much. A jak to iść na to, żeby to zobaczyć te I've rented a car.
kayak so I can check out the lake. Climb to that tower up there and get a view of the lake. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 